Hi chimps, welcome to another episode of Guitar Chimp Television. We've got uh, Just In's First Looks number 27. 27. Sounds right. Sounds right. Yeah. We've got another five for today. Let's Sweet. get it going. So first we've got a... It's like a Gibson acoustic of some sort. Oh, that's not your... No, not at all. I'm actually somewhat unfamiliar with it. So what we've got here is a Gibson. It's like a CF100E. Uh, it's it's a Japanese signature model of an artist. Like I said, I, I don't know the name of them, but it's a CF100E is what it is. And the reason why I bought it is because if those of you are familiar with the CF100E, it's a pretty rare guitar. The body shape it's, it's like a J160E with a cutaway. So with the cutaway right here, so the J160E, the Beatles guitar, you know, cause it's got the P90 pickup and then the knobs, but the body size is a little bit smaller than a J160E. And so it's just kind of like a, it's like a, almost like a Gibson mod version of a, of a J160E, you know, a mod shop version to where they just, it's just weird. And I, I like weird. Yeah, it's cool. You, you know? definitely have not, had any in that color or the finish yeah yeah who's the name of the tomio akuda is nice. who it is but that's honestly I, i've never even heard heard this person yeah the reason why i bought this was because of the guitar the guitar is so awesome uh it's interesting the clear coat on this is really really thin and so the the top just has like a pretty it, it really worn look to it already feel to it because the clear coat is so thin on it but yeah, I just it's love definitely a, a different look mm -hmm. to it. The it's way like the a, light shines off of it is different than like a glossy. Yeah, it's finish. like a it's like a quirky looking, almost Andy Warhol looking like J one sixty. Yeah, it totally like, is. Yeah, that's cool. It's just and this pickguard, how it, it's it's single ply, and, and then it's a really thick white pickguard. It goes really well with the. I'm just gonna call it orange, man. Yeah, with with that top. It yeah, looks, the top is pretty much orange. Looks and then, killer. And then you've got your P90 pickup, which I don't know if you've ever played these, but they give kind of a, I really like, you can get a really good dirty clean out of them, if that makes oh, any sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They're not, in my opinion, for like having a pickup that sounds super clean, I don't totally like them because they're, they're a P90. Uh, yeah. But like they, they uh, you can just get that perfect amount of a little bit of dirt. Yeah. It sounds awesome. But really really cool guitar looks like we've just got like a mahogany back so there's our gibson custom shop logo yeah i so, like this thing man it yeah it's cool yep and the then, color combinations they chose pretty pretty wild great man. yeah what do we got in the case yeah we've got uh one of these things you know um, so this is a 2015 checklist. is the date on it and then we have a certificate of authenticity. Oh, we've got a picture. Oh, let's see that. Of Tomio Okuda CF100E. Nice. Super, super awesome. Yeah, looks like the one he plays. Exactly, yeah. that's cool. I don't know. <clears throat> it's pretty interesting. This says 174 right there. I would have to do a little bit of research on to, I'm wondering what that what that means if that's 174 out of x amount that they made mm -hmm. uh you don't see these very often i'm assuming that, that that that's what that's going to be so like i said I don't, I don't know how many of them they made oh one thing that's interesting about this one too is check this out so it's got a uh the first and the fifth on this are it's 13414 which is a 2014 serial number but we have a 2015 production date on this one and i get people that ask me about this stuff every once in a while like hey why did you say this was a 2015 when clearly the serial number says it's a 2014. Uh, anytime there's there's stuff that's kind of like right around the edge of december january february 
you could see this happen to where the serial numbers are a little slightly off like that. Yeah. I mean, you can tell same serial number on both of yeah. the checklist and the certificate. Yeah. So, yeah. So now you know. Yeah. And the more you know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> yeah. The, I really dig this model though. Yeah. And I didn't know they did P90s for acoustic guitars. So that's yeah, and that's the, really cool. And the J160E, the Beatles stuff. That's why they're not a great sounding pickup, right? But sometimes yeah. trash is beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's not trash. I'm a fan of it's P90s, not... so yeah. yeah, I prefer that sound <laughs> over over some of the other pickups. But... Yeah. Okay, moving on. <laughs> and we got Epiphone Elitis. Oh yeah. You guys should be able to guess what this yeah. is, because it's I feel like it's gonna be a Beatles day. I just need more Ricks and <laughs> yeah. You're just coming up with all sorts of ideas for Instagram posts that I keep forgetting about. Yeah. Well that's not a J160E, but it's close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. When you open the case, that's instantly what I thought. So Paul McCartney would probably approve. Yeah. Okay, so what we have here is another Epiphone Elitist 65 Casino reissue. I've talked about these guitars a ton. They're made in Japan, casinos, made by Epiphone. I mean, you wouldn't be able to make a Gibson Casino. It'd be a 330, it'd be a 330. Yeah. Uh, but the Epiphone, this is the, this is how they originally made them, you know? This is a 65 reissue. I think they started these in 61, I think. I did a video on these. I should go back and watch the video, but I'm pretty sure it was <laughs> yeah. like right around 61 is when they started the casinos. Super, super cool, man. Yeah, they have a really cool sound to them. Mm hmm mm hmm yep. I like that Beatles sound. That's... Yep. I think John Lennon used one of these for a lot of their stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure the casinos are a full hollow, I believe. I don't think that these are a similar. I think hollow. you're right. Yeah. There's no block and in it. There's no block in it. And then it is, a, it is I mean, it's obviously a laminate uh, top, back, and sides. That's, that's how they did the the uh the 335s and, and all this type of stuff i think to get you start getting solid is maybe an l4 i think is when you start venturing into that is when you go solid but yeah. i mean these are awesome super thin necks yeah yeah definitely one sound. of the one of the mm -hmm. better things that epiphone mm -hmm. has done and it's just sure. really this thing is really light in almost, um, how do I, resonant feeling is, yeah. is how it feels to me. Um, you could really just strum on this thing. I'm gonna mask for this, but. <laughs> yeah, it's not in tune, but, but you <laughs> yeah. could tell. Yeah, Imagine. It's super resonant. It's one of those guitars that like, uh, sometimes when we play guitars, we just pick them up and play them acoustically. Yeah. And this is one of those guitars. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. And, and it resonates really well, so. And we've just got it's some of this stuff with cool. it, you know, the all the case stuff that you want to really, you should keep this stuff, you know, yeah. just, keep, just keep it, keep in, it the case. in the case. Yeah, it was born with it. Yeah, just should it. just stay with it forever. And the silica gel. <laughs> Don't eat that. Do not eat that. The purple in this case. I like it. It's very cool. Yeah. yeah. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Sweet. I'd like to keep one of these someday. Yeah. Specifically the elitist ones, just because they're a great guitar. Yeah. And yeah, they're probably I'm one, a of fan. Days, one of these days they're going to be impossible to find. And yeah. I'm going to look back and go, oh, I should have kept that one. <laughs> yeah. That can be said about a lot of the stuff we get. I know. What okay. do we got next? So, what we got here is. Give some guess what's in the shot. case. I'm gonna guess an SG of some, yeah, some kind. Probably you've got our SG shape. FG FG. FG shape. 
FG. It's like the BFG without the B. Okay. Oh boy. Oh yeah. So what we've got here is a Gibson Custom Shop 1961 historic reissue SG standard in white. Got a good looking white top, the ABR1 bridge. I don't know what kind of pickups these are. They're probably some sort of custom bucker or something like that. And so our 60s style knobs down here with the pointers. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the white is starting to age. Oh yeah, it's definitely yellowing a yeah. little bit. Yeah, nice rosewood fingerboard. Our single button Cluson tuners. And would you like that? And then your Les Paul logo. Yeah. You know what this is like? Yeah. This thing's jumping out at me because I, the 61s normally have that sideways vibrato thing mm -hmm, on there. Mm -hmm. I love stop tail pieces mm -hmm. and that's like. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if there's binding on this thing. I mean, there is, but it looks like it's the It's probably white. hard to see. Yeah, the white just blends really well with it. It looks, I mean, the neck on this is, is nice and thin. Gosh, the white looks just amazing on this. It does. I, mean, I love how the hardware is not all super shiny. Yeah. You know, it's nice and aged and via West. And, you know, I don't know what year this is, but it's probably got some uh, user wear aging and just sitting around on this earth. Yeah. So, gosh. This Man, is I love this. This is my favorite mm -hmm. SG we've had in in a while. And then we've got a six digit serial number. Very, very 60s. And then if you guys can see like the back of the neck, oh, it's yeah. just got a little bit of wear going on right there. That's so, uh, I mean, it's just from being played, you know, and it's just gonna make this. The finish start to rub. I know, and that's what, that's what you wanna do. Yeah. I such love a, that look. Such a look. good I... looking shoe, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See if we've got anything in this case. And judging by the case, this is probably, you know, mid 2000s, 2010. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so we've got all this hang type tags. of hang tag stuff. And then, yep, it's a 2013, just like we thought. So with an O2 serial number, actually, just like we talked about in the last guitar, I think, the first yeah. one that we had. Yeah, because this one was put out uh, January, what is that, January 2nd of 2013. Mm -hmm. So it was like the day after. So the serial number is an O2 serial number, or a, a 2012 serial number, I mean, but it's a... 2013 guitar. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. And it's nice. probably, I'll bet it's like the last digit or something like that. It's one of these digits on these, the six digits. I don't know off the top of my head, but yeah, one the of them. Yeah, custom shop changes it up quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, on these ones, and again, off the top of my head, I, I, I use Google a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of these is designates like the model that it is, like for the, uh, for a custom shop Firebird 7, it would be something. For a 68 reissue, uh, six digit, it would be something. And then for a 60, you know, an SG reissue, it's one of these. And then one of these digits is the year. But on this yeah. six digit series, that's how they do it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty sweet SG. Cool. Sweet, we got a couple more. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna want that. Looks like we'll someone's just that right there and remember that. Someone's kid got a hold of a marker. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we brought a, a Gibson Cali lift-in reissue style case. So this is always promising. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh. So what we've got here 
is a Gibson ES345. It's a, I believe this is a, it's a Freddie King reissue. Very cool guitar. We've got our Variotone switch right here. ABR1 bridge. We've got our split parallelogram inlays. Fingerboard, rosewood. And then yes, Mr. Freddie King. I love when Gibson does these. Yeah. The little, little the bit little of head, little head support for it, yeah. Yep. Save you from a broken headstock. Yep. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting about this guitar is I've had these before. You have to run it with a stereo cable. And and so it, it's weird. It's the way that Freddie King's original was. And so they just, when Gibson put these out, they just kept it. There's been a lot of people have kind of complained about that, but... Uh, so we've got this sweet cable that does the, that you'll use for it. Yeah, it's See got it the does. little adapter. Yeah, it's got the little end. adapter. Go stereo. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's the thing though, right? If if Gibson would have released his model, but didn't do it the way his is. It, yeah, exactly. Uh, people are gonna be angry about that. Yeah, so. if you don't like it, yeah. then uh, either have somebody modify it or don't buy a Freddie King. <laughs> yeah, it, for sure. Yeah. It's cool that they keep two of those things, you know? Yeah. It's really good looking though, man. I mean, this 345, this cherry top on this. Uh, I love the way the hardware is, uh, it's not like super shiny. It's yeah. it's nice and mellow and, and just, you know, VOS a little bit. Let's see if we can get in there. Mm -hmm. Pretty keen artist model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the wood is really super good. pretty on here. Yep kind of like the the middle guitar between the 335 and the 355 uh, I, I really like the 345s a lot I like the 345 or 55s but sometimes so 355 would have a Les Paul custom logo and then it would have the binding and stuff like that but sometimes I I, I just like things that we've talked about this like the difference mm -hmm. between a custom and a standard yeah you know like standards they're just a little they're minimized right yeah and sometimes it's better yeah it's uh, true it just feels like less is more sometimes. Yeah. Uh, which is, I really like the 345. Yeah, I, like I think all. it's super cool, man. That's, yeah. it's a Cadillac. It is a Cadillac. Cool. Put you back in that case. Yeah, it's interesting all the artist models out there that do that though. Like the the Alex Lifeson mm -hmm, is a stereo. Mm -hmm. They stay There's, true to the artist yeah, specifications. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's a different it's a different thing. Yep. Last one for the day. Cool. Or is it an hour? Worthy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not filming another one of these directly after this uh, one. No. No, we would never we do, wouldn't that. do that. Yeah, I'm wearing a different shirt yeah. in all of them. Come on. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Oh, should we switch sides? That's yeah, let's do that. that right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. We talked Get about this. Get with the program. Yeah, <laughs> we're so professional at Guitar Jump. Okay. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, so what we have here is a, we've got a mid 70s Rickenbacker 481 with the, uh, get on those frets. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying Slant to do fret. it. Yeah, look at that, that is crazy. Yeah, this is very off, opposite of Gent. Yeah. yeah, you'll see a lot of fan frets that go on the lower end to make the low yeah. longer, but this is making the high longer. Yep. And then we've got our, you know, other than the slant frets off the top of my head, I really don't know a ton, but we've got these Rickenbacker pickups. I would imagine that these are possibly some sort of humbucker. Um, honestly, they're pretty hideous looking. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's- But it's corky, man. That, that's cool. Yeah, that's part of the appeal to this guitar though, is it's hideously corky. Yeah. And that's, that's great. We get bored of all the, Les Pauls and, yeah. and things like that. And so sometimes we need things to be hideously quirky. 
That's why I can't hate on Gibson so much for doing stuff like the Firebird X and things like that. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I like what's the stupid What's stuff the too. new one they did? Oh my gosh, I can't even think. Well, the Gibson I? It, the one with the, the two P90s. It's like a special, but it's like, uh, it hits an odd shape. Hmm. I don't know. I we'll don't have know, to look. Man. Or the I'll reverse flying bees. That's a ridiculous yeah. one. <laughs> You could kill somebody. It's, with it. yeah. <laughs> it's cool, dude. I I like the odd odd stuff like this. Yeah. So the color on this one is burgundy glow. It's really good looking. I uh, I don't know what this switch does. I would imagine maybe it's some sort of coil tap, but it is original. Uh, when we first when I first saw these, I, I didn't think it was, but these switches are original. And it's such a cool guitar. Yeah, it's got a, the body, even though this is a six string, has a Rickenbacker 4001 feel to it and look to it. Like if you look at it, you're like, wow, that's kind of a bass. Yeah, I feel like they took the bass body and just of that and it... was like, hey, let's slap some humbuckers in here. And, <laughs> and slant the frets. Yeah. <laughs> but the frets, yeah. I don't know. I've, I've played some slant. Yeah, they fret it plays guitars. fine, man. Yeah, this is a yeah. very mellow slant to yeah. it. So it's not... It's weird when you it's when you've got this thing weight. in your hands, it, it, you don't really exactly you don't really feel it. Yeah, it's a pretty piece of wood on the back. Mm -hmm. What year is this? Did you say? Probably mid seventies. If I was to guess, it would be yeah. maybe seventy five ish or so. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been around a while. Been Looks around. like it's been played a little bit. Yeah. Do you have anything in here? We have nothing. <laughs> nothing but a, a crazy Rickenbacker. Is that all of them? That was I the think that's one. it. Yeah, that's did it. I, did I, I? I don't think I announced that, did I? No. Uh, well, I think you did. That's all we have yeah. for you today. So you guys can get on out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no actually okay yeah so that's all we've got for today if you like what you saw please do us a favor and hit the like button go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you really want to help us out click the reverb link if you end up buying something reverb just kicks us down a little bit of dough you don't even have to buy our stuff it's just anything it just really supports the channel yeah buy some strings a pedal some yeah whatever man we'll or, get a few or, cents i mean buy something from us buy the 481 yeah, yeah. have a sick guitar Oh yeah, what's going on, chips? If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. If you don't like what you saw, go ahead and hit the dislike button and leave me a comment. Oh, yeah.